What is up you guys, Master Cars of here and today we're in downtown Beirut. Uh, Porsche and Lebanon have kindly invited us to check out the 2020 Taycan Turbo and I've heard there's nice goodies over there in the showroom, so let's see what's up. Porsche Studio Beirut has always been one of my favorite showrooms in Lebanon, with a stunning display every time I visit. This time, alongside the Taycan, was presented the OG 1960 Porsche P111 Diesel Junior, a nicely restored 911S, a briefly specced 911 Speedster, and the all-new Cayenne Coupe Hybrid. Despite that mouth-watering lineup, the Taycan easily stole the show, even in this relatively bland volcano grey paint, yet gorgeous red interior. For now, Porsche is offering three Taycan models, namely 4S, Turbo and Turbo S, and a fourth variant only available to the Chinese market. Make sure to visit Porsche Center Lebanon's official website for detailed pricing. And here we go, the 2020 Taycan Turbo. Wow, you can see the LED uh, matrix turned on in this car. Let's take a brief walk around. You can charge it. You simply swipe your hand down, it opens, but because we've plugged it in, on the other side so this basically doesn't open opening up the door when you unlock it these pop up and would you look at that spec wow of course the panoramic sunroof around the top a lot of displays wow very high quality everywhere i'm gonna jump in later let me just continue my walk around privacy glass optional of course with the tinted uh, panoramic sunroof it's very similar to the Mission E concept study we saw last year. Uh, I didn't do a video about it, but I had the chance to check it out. You can check out the photos on my website, mastercrossreview.com. But would you look at that rear? Wow, with the rear light bar and the emblem with the glass over here. That is, that's pretty cool. If you want to open up the trunk, simply press this button. Of course, electric tailgate and it's large cargo space, as you can see with the nice uh, little Cubby spaces over here on the right and the left if you open this up. Also, storage space beneath that. Let's just close that up. Uh, what do you think about this spec? Now, yesterday, I wasn't able to come yesterday. The day launching is for two days. Yesterday, we had this blue color, uh, which I heard was really impressive. We got this because the other one was sold. Let's just jump in real quick inside the interior and show you what's up. There we go. All right, so we're finally in the Taycan. As you can see, it's finished in this very nice red leather all around. And starting with the driver display, it's a 16.8 inch curved display, which is really cool. And you have your nice uh, gear selector displays over here, and you can change that from here. The start stop button is over here on the left, as you can see. Um, other than that, you can see the whole nice material. You have two options for the steering wheel, and of course, uh, your drive mode selector on the bottom right. And then down below, uh, your 8.4 inch uh, screen uh, for your battery and whatnot. Let me just try it, there we go. Uh, so this is for your climate control over here. And it has haptic feedback, so like when you press it, that's a nice uh, feedback to it. Now it can be controlled because the car is off, uh, basically, but I mean, it's over here. You have a nice storage space down below. Taycan emblem with two cup holders. You've seen that the Taycan is nothing short of displays, with up to five if you option the front passenger and rear passenger displays. By replacing all mechanical buttons with touch sensitive controls, they've tidied up the whole cabin for a much more modern experience. Though I personally still prefer having a few dials for faster changing of climate and audio settings. It does feel more compact on the inside than it does from the outside, yet the driving position and layout screams Porsche the second you get comfortable on those beautifully made leather bucket seats. There's a wide range of optional equipment to choose from, such as ambient lighting, park assist, a race tech steering wheel, rear axle steering, along many others. Porsche's famous sport chrono pack makes an appearance on the Taycan as well, which brings to the table a multifunction GT steering wheel with the drive mode selector and the familiar dash mounted stopwatch. If you'd like more in-depth details on the Taycan, make sure to follow the first link in the description to read my full review article. Alright, so I've jumped quickly into the backseat of the Taycan. Uh, I hope you guys can see me, let me just move it this way, okay, there we go. Um, I'm 185cm and headroom is pretty impressive with the panoramic sunroof and legroom let me show you leg room. Uh, it's pretty good. I mean, th the seat is kind of moved back, but I mean, it's still pretty impressive. It's big, so like visibility is kind of uh, small for the back seat, but again, you have big windows. And you also have 
an armrest with two cup holders and you can also get a display over here in the back which is option in this car and right here you have uh, two USB-C ports which is nice to have Mind blowing in the Taycan is its innovative technology that truly sets a benchmark for electric vehicles. Porsche has integrated a massive 800 volt lithium ion battery in the underbody of the Taycan and powers two permanent magnetic synchronous motors on each axle. Two battery options are available for the 4S, Performance Battery and Performance Battery Plus, while the Turbo and Turbo S get the more powerful of the two. Maximum output is achieved in overboost power while using launch control, which translates to a whopping 750 horsepower in the Turbo S. A two-speed transmission is fitted on the rear axle with a short ratio first gear for fast acceleration and a long ratio second gear for highway speeds. According to Porsche, the 800 volt battery can be charged using a 260 kilowatt direct current charger for a charging time of just 5 minutes for up to 100 kilometers of range. In much more sensible conditions, the Taycan will take around 9 hours to fully charge from an 11 kW AC charger. Average range as per the WLTP is best on the Taycan 4S fitted with the upgraded Performance Battery Plus. Alright guys, so that's gonna be it for the Taycan. If you've enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out the article on the website mastercrossreview.com. Till then, take care everybody. See you soon.